bringing you a short video today just to let you know there is a new update for uh, Topaz Sharpen AI, that most excellent piece of software, some really cool new features in it. This is uh, version 2.2. Oh, and by the way, if you have an active upgrade license, this is a free update for you. The new Sharpen AI version 2.2 includes, there's an all new comparison view to compare all three processing modes at once. Think Topaz Denoise AI, very similar, really cool feature. You'll see it here shortly. New extra noise suppression toggle for new noise reduction models. New option and preferences to move your controls to the left side. So if you don't like all the controls on the right side of the interface, you can move them to the left. And there's also new tutorials and demos built right into Sharpen AI. On the screen right now, you'll see the change log. You can go ahead and pause the video and take a look and see what all the new changes are inside of uh, version 2.2. And now let me move over to the website just to give you a little uh, background of uh, Sharpen AI. What it does is it'll stabilize an image. Uh, if you had natural camera shake and your image was out of focus, it'll stabilize it. If you just had soft focus, you didn't get the focus quite right in your camera, it'll fix that like no other piece of software out there, I guarantee you. And it also does just your general input sharpening, which you need on your raw images. Now, let me just show you a few examples on the website. So here's an image of this bird. Uh, and you can see it had a stabilization where some camera shake, but look how it corrects it. Here's a dragonfly. Here, uh, again, a stabilization problem, how it corrects it. Here's a bird flying. Here's the before and here's the after, so pretty cool. Here's a focus example here. So this dandelion right here. Here's the before and here's the after. Look how it corrects the focusing issue. Here's a spider. We all love spiders, right? Look, it's out of focus. Now it's in focus. Check this snowflake out. This is really cool. Out of focus and in focus. It does amazing things. And again, it'll just do general sharpening for you. So now let's take a look at the all new update version 2.2. And now here we are inside of Sharpen AI version 2.2. Here's the uh, new comparison view here. Now you'll find that comparison view up in the upper right hand corner of the interface. View, just click on the drop down. You can do a single view, you can do a split view, a side by side view, or the all new comparison view. And this compar comparison view is really cool, right? So you'll notice you'll have the original up in the upper left corner. You'll have the sharpen model on the right of it. Underneath the original, you'll have the stabilize model, and to the right of that, you'll have the focus model. So you could take a look at one glance and say, which model is right for my image? And on this image, we can see that the focus has definitely fixed it. So look at the original, and now compare the focus. Isn't that really crazy? Then you have this auto button right here that you can have Sharpen AI do the auto adjustments for you. And I find, I would say 95% of the time, that's all you need. Sometimes I might have to give it a little extra sharpness or a little more noise suppression. And now here's another new feature, the extra uh, noise suppression. And if I hover over this question mark, it says adds additional noise suppression to help sharpen noisy images. Oh, and by the way, I'm planning on making a full tutorial on this new version 2.2 update. So if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe, click the bell notification icon, and then when I upload that new tutorial, you will be notified. And now moving on to another new feature. Hey, if you don't like to have your control panel on the right of the interface, you can move it to the left. And to do that, all you need to do is go up to your menu bar and click on Topaz Sharpen AI if you're on a Mac machine, if you're on a Windows machine. I'm not sure, but you know where your preferences live and wherever they live, you want to go there. Okay, so I'm going to click here and click on preferences. And now you have this option under application where it says controls panel location. Right now you see it's set for right. You can set it to the left. And when you do, you can see it's now on the left. Now I prefer mine on the right, so I'm going to switch it back. But now you have another choice. You can go ahead and move that control panel to the left if you prefer. So that's a, that, that's, that's a nice feature, I guess, if you like your controls on the left. Hey, and let me know in the comment section below what you think of this new update. You think they're moving in the right direction? Uh, I'd really love to hear from you. And if you have any questions, let me know. Or if you have any suggestions for any tutorials you'd like me to make, let me know in the comments section there as well. Let me show you another example. So this was a uh, focus example. 
And let me click the X down here and it says close without saving. Yes, close without saving. These are some of the example images that they give you that you could check out. One for sharpen, one for stabilize, and one for focus. And here's a tutorial here that you can go through. I'm not going to do that. But this is what the uh, interface looks like when you don't have an image open. You can go here to browse your folder of images, add your own images in there, and fix your sharpening problems, which is really cool. Let's use one of their examples here for uh, Stabilize. I showed you Focus. Now lo let's look at Stabilize. Now this, this piece of software, again, is not just for sharpening images. It's for fixing sharpening problems like you had camera shake. Stabilize fixes that. You had a missed focus. You, you didn't get your focus quite right in your camera. It's going to fix that. And now we're looking at an image with a stabilize issue. And if we look here on the screen, we can see we have the original here. Right next to it, we have Sharpen. Underneath the original, we have Stabilize. And to the right of that, we have Focus. And as you can clearly see here, the Stabilize has fixed that problem. So look at the original and look at the Stabilize. So pretty cool stuff. Oh, and I also want to point out that Sharpen AI works as a standalone product. It also works as a plugin for Photoshop and Lightroom. So it's, it's, it's really versatile. Well, there it is, uh, Topaz Sharpen AI, the all new version 2.2. This was a first look video of some of the new features inside. And there's some really welcome features like the new comparison mode. I really like that. And as I said, I'll be doing a follow up uh, tutorial where we do a more in depth look at uh, the new update. So please, if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, subscribe and click that bell notification icon and this way when i upload that new tutorial and any tutorial i make you'll be notified about it and also if you enjoyed this uh, video today please give it a like and share it with your friends uh this really helps me out it helps my channel to grow and i really appreciate that and again please leave comments and questions in the comment section below i'd love to hear from you i want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with dave kelly